What is going on, everybody? Happy Friday. Time again for the Big Foodies. BB Shea, Biggie, and Matt coming at you. Today, it's summertime, so we're doing the triple S. Soda sampling. What? Yes. <laughs> Man, I came up with you that, a couple that all hours night. Ago. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so you, you could have called it the assorted summer soda sample. The ass, the ass, the ass. The ass. <laughs> that's I like that even better. <laughs> so there's a couple sodas that dropped recently over the past couple weeks. Two new Mountain Dews, of course, because they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't we, stop. Uh, for a it, dude. Uh, you know, we were able to escape Mountain Dew for yeah. a few months, yeah. but guess no, who's back with a vengeance? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, you're sleeping on me, so I'm going to give you two. A new Coca-Cola Spiced. I don't know what that's about. Interested in that. Uh, I and am. A sun-kissed strawberry orange, Ooh. which just hit the shelves, Ooh. I think, today or yesterday. So. I like that. Yeah. So we're going to try it and uh, let you know what you need to be drinking this summer. Okay. Where are you going to start? Uh, I, I want to do the I want to do the Coke Spice first, okay, because cool. I feel like that's going to be something. The other are fruit flavored. Yeah. If I'm not mistaken, this is raspberry with a <clears throat> kick of spice. Now, I love anything raspberry flavored. Tell me, what do you mean by spice? Exactly. I Pumpkin guess we're going to find out. Raspberry spice. spice. Sporty spice. It's posh. Spice? Does it have a spice I smell? That before. It smells like bubble gum. Yeah, I get the raspberry. It's like a a bubblicious. Oh yeah. <clears throat> raspberry spice go. coke with other natural flavors. There's no details. Hmm. Ooh, I get the. Uh, I get the spice on the back end. It's like a cinnamony. I mean, it's just. It tastes like potpourri. That's crisp. Yes, it does. It tastes like. This is a. Drop this in December. Yes. It tastes like you ate one of those potpourri uh, brooms. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Like the 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 cinnamon broom. That comes in a bowl you just Mm -hmm. came up with. Yeah. Yeah. You ever uh, (laughs) walk face first into somebody freshly spraying some like cinnamon. Like a Febreze, it's like, like, and you get like, ah, it's in my mouth. It's like my grandma's den. That's what it tastes like to me. Is it weird that I don't hate it? <laughs> like, I mean, I don't know. It's different. It's different. I wouldn't. I don't know if I go out of my way to buy it. Yeah, it, it doesn't taste bad by any means, but it's not a everyday drinker. I will say this: I won't ever have it again. I don't have any issue with it at all. Yeah, I, yeah I'll tell it you, it's not a summer drink. I wouldn't mind because, I, you know me, I like the zero drinks. I wouldn't mind seeing what that tastes like because they have a zero version. They do. Every time I look for it, it's sold out. Yeah. So if I stumble across one, I might try that. I could have gotten it. I just assumed oh, it wouldn't have, be I that. haven't seen it. Most of it has been sold out. I assumed it wouldn't be that big of a flavor difference. That's why I didn't get it, but my bad. All right. No, that's fine. Right. I just, yeah. Let's, I, I, it, unless it's the only thing there. Yeah. I don't see myself actively, actively getting going it again. again. Yeah. But if I were to do it, that's a Christmas drink. It is. It definitely it's is. weirdly. Yeah. That's not a. That's I'll tell not you, a, when you first taste it, you're like, okay, I don't really like. It's just Coke with a little raspberry. It's not till you've swallowed it that you yeah. get this rush of potpourri in your nose. It really reminds me of just walking through like somebody who just missed it air freshener. Yeah. And you're like, oh, 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 like this is the mouth. perfect drink whenever you're decking the halls. <laughs> <laughs> Bowels of Holly, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if it's for summer. Well, let's move on to the more summery there themed yeah. drinks. So I want to try this Mountain Dew Baja Laguna Lemonade. Okay. I'm interested because I don't think that they've ever done like a lemonade, lemonade type yeah. flavor. They're so not. excited to see how this goes. I um, I have a. It's so it's mango lemonade flavor. That's the flavor. Okay. Mango. Like a mango. Mango is always the safe flavor to go to. Yeah. I like a mango. The big thing is, will this taste any different than just Mountain Dew, no, like the other ones? That's won't. always my favorite. That's <clears throat> it's a different shade of Mountain Dew. <clears throat> Smell mango, oh, heavy mango, heavy mango. Super heavy mango. <clears throat> I like that. There's a starfish with a snorkel. So this is part of their Baja series, because yeah. I see it's the... There's also a parrot with a nose ring and a hat, and some bling. Mm-hmm. I get a lot of mango. A lot of mango. I get a little bit of the lemonade. Tiny mm-hmm. bit of lemonade, but mostly I get mango. Yeah. There's like some lemonade tang there, some tartness. 
this, yeah, that that kind of does separate itself a little bit it does. from the, the Mountain Dew that I don't tends to break through. Here. I like it actually. I, yeah, it's, is it the 20th anniversary of Baja Blast? Yeah. That's why they're doing it. Did you know? I I just learned that the other day. I didn't know it had been around that long. Yeah. I um I will tell you this. It's almost like three different flavors. You get like mango up front, a little lemonade, and then some Mountain Dew at the end. Yeah, I like it. I do too. Put a little vodka in that. Yeah, buddy. That's what I'm talking. Put a lot of vodka in that. That's what I'm talking about. Let's stay on the Dew train. Keep me on that we'll dude do train. Point break punch. Should I just ruin your cups? So yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I might need another one. I just ruined BB's uh, one of those <coughs> clean cups. Uh, uh, while Matt's pouring and right. another I'm cup, we'll give a shout out to the Berry Patch real quick. <laughs> summer drink time, which means it's the summer, and uh, what better place to spend the summer <laughs> than at the Berry Patch, uh, located off 220 in Ellerby, the world's largest strawberry. Driving down the highway, you go, hey, what's that big monument over there? It's a big strawberry. Pull but in. inside that big strawberry, they got some of the best ice cream, produce, people, merch, Everything you could ever want. One phenomenal place. Great people as well. Uh, if you're out that way, tell them the big foodie mm-hmm. said um, was good. Was good. Yeah. yeah. There's Matt Sayers, your line. Berry Patch World's Largest Strawberry.com for more information. I love the intricacies of the Mountain Dew logos. They do take a lot of pride in that. What's that fish that lives at the bottom of the ocean that's got like the light bulb? Oh, the lantern fish? Yeah. I don't know what it's called. So one of those is on here, but the lantern looks to be a cherry well, or a blueberry. There's raspberries on here, there's blackberries, there's pineapple Ooh. rings, and there is a squid with a uh, flowered bucket hat. Well, what's our flavor here? What's it say it is? Point break punch. Oh, so it's just a fruit punch. Yeah, <laughs> tropical <laughs> punch flavor. Okay. It's a tropical punch. That tends yeah. to be more pineapple. Anytime you add pineapple, it becomes a tropical Coconut. Punch. Yeah. There's like, I've always noticed that when it comes to anything punch, it's like, what do we need to make this tropical? Add some pineapple juice, bingo. We have this, and it's not tropical enough. This smells like dew. <clears throat> yeah. It smells tropical-y. It smells like a Hawaiian punch. Mm. Mm-mm. I don't care for it. <clears throat> this tastes like a bad version of Mountain Dew. Yeah. <clears throat> tastes like stale Code Red. It does. It tastes like a knockoff Mountain Dew. Yeah. <clears throat> like Hill Dew. Hill Rain. Hill, hill Rain. <laughs> that's hill it. Rain. Yeah, that's what it's, yeah. Valley Flood. Valley. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, kids, we can't afford Mountain Dew, so we have. We have Quarry yeah. Monsoon. Yeah, we have Hill Rain. Uh, so now we've got the new Sun Kissed Strawberry Orange Soda. At least a bad film in your mouth, yeah. too. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, mm, mm, mm. I, I yeah, thought, didn't do that. I thought that was going to be better than the Laguna Lemonade, but the Laguna Lemonade yeah. is pretty good. Now, what is a strawberry orange sun Strawberry sun-kissed? orange sun kissed. <laughs> I don't know why we're all so quiet for that. <laughs> I was like, trying to say something. This is awkward. I just thought it was hilarious the way you're pouring it like we're children. Like, <laughs> I was like trying that's to like, enough. I was trying to like, you know, be a bartender. <laughs> Interesting smell. It smells like it doesn't have I much get, of a smell. It, does, it smells <clears throat> musky. It smells like <laughs> strawberry syrup. To it me. does smell musky. It smells like bo. Mm. Ooh, that is bad. Yeah, that's <laughs> not. That that's shit not sucks. Good, dude. <laughs> God, that is the fakest tasting fake strawberry I think I've ever Ugh. experienced in my Ugh. life. Son, kiss my ass, dude. That All is, right, that so is, that is not good. <laughs> like, here's I mean, the thing. It tastes like a <clears throat> expired strawberry with acid, <clears throat> like the acid from an orange. Ugh. Are you sure this just came out today? Because yeah, I'm, I'm like, sure, I'm waiting to see like new for summer of 2022. <laughs> yeah. no, it says new on the bottle. Listen, here's the that, that is bad get you the Mountain Dew mango lemonade yeah the, and do yourself a favor and don't try the other yeah <clears throat> this is like I said it truly tastes like fake strawberry in there like yeah, it's they it's had like just, a blueberry lemonade sun kiss come yeah, out recently was 
was good. Yeah, we tried that. that. It was that great. Was not good, dude. This that is, is a, bizarre. He should have stayed home. Did he go back to the drawing boards on that? I'm coming out on April this. Fool's Day. Hey, yeah, but they no, wouldn't. No, they have, wouldn't put. I mean, no one's going to be like, hey, come taste our shit. <laughs> so, exactly. <laughs> April Fool's. Yeah, I drank a shitty soda. Our stock just plummeted. You'll never buy from us again. <laughs> like, that's great. the worst April Fool's Day joke oh, ever. There's one of these that's foodie approved, and it's the mango lemonade yeah. Mountain Dew. The rest of them. Well, co- Coca Cola, Christmas time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just just yeah. miss the mark. Put a little of that day. for Christmas. Yeah. The rest of them, I'd rather drink this sticker. Yes. Well, the so, lemonade can hang. But if you'd yeah. like one. Let Barrett know. Yeah. Let us know, and we'll let Barrett know, and then <clears throat> you'll get one by Christmas. You'll remind him, and then he'll send it to you. By the time that gets to you, that spice Coca Cola will be good to drink. <laughs> yeah. Let us know on yeah. social media if you've tried any of these. You find any other uh, summer sample sodas that you'd like for us to try? Let us know where we can find them, and we'll snag them. Uh, Big Foodie's found on all social media and podcasting platforms. That's BB Shay. This is Big Man, and I am Matt, and we'll see you next week. Thank you.